All right, I'm going to do a talk here on the uh, this aquatic event that created the aquatic ape. And it was two events. Both of them were aquatic events. And um, some um, six million years ago, the, the, the Gibraltar had this geologic event that caused it to, to seal off. As a result, I, and I think this happened earlier than six million, but as a result, the salinity crisis happened. And uh, everything dried up and turned into it. And, um, and uh, it wouldn't be until um, what happened was we know because of the event, I'm going to pause here and just talk about this. We know that the, the Atlantic Ocean had gone down 500 meters, right? And as a result going down, there was some geologic crisis caused it to go down five. All oceans of the world went down about 500 meters. As the, as the Atlantic refilled up, right, it put tremendous pressure on this, on this point right here. And um, and just like a little trickle started, right, and more and more and more and more. And I think this geological event probably happened, you know, I don't know, eight million, whatever, right? It probably took a long time for this for this to start, right? For them to have the exact dates. Um, but it it came huge, and 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 you know, meters and tons and millions of tons of water started to flow through this area, okay as it spread. This is massive amounts of water spreading. It wasn't slow. This was a, and this is the Zanclean flood, right? This is the Zanclean flood started at the Atlantic, came in here. Um, the flood eroded 250 kilometer channel, filling up, so this is a huge channel, huge amounts of water coming in that had built up, right, as a dam, just kaboom. This would have happened very quickly. Um, and um, right at this spot right here where it hit Sicily, there was this massive ridge here, okay, this geo, geo so um, it kind of stopped here, right? So when it stopped here, it started to build up, build up, build up. I don't know if they show it. They don't show it. But it would have kept building up, building up, building up, right? It, the water level would have kept building up, building up, building up. Huge amounts of water. This would have been the first basin, right? And um, again, all these waters flowing in that had been cut off would have, you know, would have, uh, would have built up here until, you know, it's got this, this is forcing this little channel until it hit this, um, you know, meter and a half, you know, uh, a kilometer and a half channel. And it started to flow down there, right? One point a waterfall, five kilometer wide channel. This 150 kilometer sedimentary channel, okay, on this here. Now I'm going to tell you what what I think is a sedimentary channel too. So look, this this would have been this would have been amazing to see on there as it just spread out, spread out, spread out, spread out. And um, and I'm going to and you understand, all right? So it kind of st stops here. I think that um, it went in. It created. The, uh, the the Black Sea. Now, what this video doesn't right doesn't show, okay, is um, is the impact that it had down here, right? And I'm going to you know go to Google Map here, right? So um, here is here's where we're at, okay. So and I want to show you. You can see where the Dead Sea that it would have that I believe that the Dead Sea this would have this created the Red Sea right this channel here helped etch you know etch it out not only that I think that um, this ero look at this erosion here this looks like to me water movement right it could maybe you know Iran uh, maybe it's just sand but I think that it, it, it all that water flew through here you know, I don't know what the levels are. Just I'm just speculating now, and maybe even you know came through here and helped create the channels, the Persian Gulf, the Gulf right on there. Maybe it came through here because it looks like there's lowlands here, like there's a delta here, right, and pushed through and just flooded. Maybe it went high, but it was just like a flood, you know, like a meet, you know, for a long time, just water rushing over. Um, I don't know what the geography. You need someone who's a geography, but for sure we know. Because I've done the research, that the impact of the Zanclean 
flood of, of mass for the first thing is the MSC um, Massaline salinity crest lowered waters from the Red Sea and the Gulf right which this includes the Gulf Gulf of uh, Aden by a thousand to two thousand meters right so this would have been all dry and um, I know that the the depth here you know is like two thousand meters so so all this a lot of land would have been exposed and this event happened for six hundred years right between the this you know so how long it take for it to dry out you know this is you know that's for geologists and scientists to figure out but you can see the cope the the uh, right here is the horn right the horn of Africa the horn of Africa would have come out here and there would have been a bunch of islands here this is where I call it Easter uh, Easter Isles right um, Easter Isles Easter Island ape right Easter Island ape and um, and when the flood came down it just it just it it hit here and probably came down here and the water just ripped the, the, the this point off leaving the tip of the horn and all of this would have start to submerge and what we need is I really love is for for you know to have that that you know have that event and then now have a have someone else create another one that actually takes us down to here right and the impact that it had on this area here because I do think the water came through here and you know uh, through Baghdad over here that's the that's and that's known as the uh, bread basket right this was the bread basket and it would have been the bread basket now that makes sense because of all of the the silt or how they become the bread basket is all of the silt and all of the you know all the nutrients from the Atlantic that were you know that were all the sediments right were pushed into here um, you may think with the salt I think the salt would have been turned into water and kind of washed through but the sediment you know all the sedimentary stuff because Baghdad in Iraq was known as the bread basket and there was a you know big big uh, you know the Mesopotamia I think in some of the one of the important stuff so it, it it's it'd be great to have um, your, your thoughts on this and and to have uh, you know um, this to be really thought about because then what happened is is this became you know this became basically the birthplace of of humanity and all of the different um, uh, hominids would split into two groups it'd be the group that kind of stayed in this area which I call the Ourobora right and then there's the group that became the Africana and Asiana right depending if they ended up here ended up here and some of them would be go on and become the um, uh, the Congo they would move in here and have successful habitat here and become the gorillas and expend some of them um, of the same species would have come up here and followed around you know followed us around um, and uh, lived um, following the shore and uh, and ended up in Asia right and and the same thing with the chimpanzees and, and, and the uh, bonobos so the group in in really I call it the Ourobora and then there's Africana Asiana versions and they basically would would be seed themselves in this area here and there's also evidence that a lot of new species develop because of this event right um, there's there's um, you know there's uh, that's pretty well documented so why wouldn't it develop the aquatic ape right why not us too right and obviously all of the evidence archaeological evidence is underwater now meet tens of meters of underwater these islands the you, these islands down here um, they're only 40 meters underwater, right? They're not that far. The tips of these these places, and these are would have been the main islands here. Here's one here. You can see it by how light it is. And at one point, when it was low, you could travel easily all the way through, all the way to this area. Maybe you know up to here, right? Maybe there was a path. Maybe this path here took us all the way. You know, this was the the route that took us all the way into Asia, right? You can see it here. If the waters were a thousand meters lower in this whole area, and we know, it, you know, it did lower the oceans than that there. Anyway, thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts. And uh, again, this is Undadu from the Heartland Zen.